Hello Booktube. It's warm January here in Kentucky. Not a big fan of it. I kind of like winter weather, but can't always get what we want. This is my December 2018 wrap-up, January 2019 TBR. Alright. My stomach just ran over there. In December, I read Piers Anthony's Isle of Woman, which is the first book in the Geo Odyssey series, which is about the origins of mankind and their development uh, as far as culture, um, becoming human, um, going from hunter-gatherers to actually forming towns and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of you may know Piers Anthony from the Xanth series, and the um, guy's been around a long time. This is my favorite series, though. Uh, gave this four stars. Uh, I love, no, I'm sorry, I gave it 3.75 stars, and I'll tell you why. Love the prehistoric stories. Got into some more modern stuff. Uh, it's not really my thing. Um, I like the uh, cavemanish stuff I guess is the best way to put it uh, but uh, beyond that I would still recommend it it's Piers Anthony Isle of Woman then I read Ed McBain Goldilocks I haven't, had not read any Ed McBain uh, told Matt Wall way back last year when I first became acquainted with him that I had Goldilocks and he's like hey have you ever read Ever read any Ed McBain? I'm like, no, I have not. Uh, nice pace to this. Uh, obviously, it's a murder mystery. There are several suspects. You try to sort it out as you go along. Um, and it uh, it actually kept me guessing till the end. So I gave this one uh, four stars. Ed McBain, Goldilocks. Then I read uh, Fortune Box by our own Madeline Swan, which is part of Todd and Dane's Indie Read Alone. And this is considered bizarro fiction. Uh, there are nine parcels delivered, there are nine stories involved. I really liked uh, the slant of these horror slash fantasy slash. Uh, I don't know, pretty, pretty wild, uh, pretty wild as far as fiction goes. And uh, Madeline, she did, did a great job on this. Give it four stars. And I went back and read a Planet Called Treason by Orson Scott Card. I had read this book um, way back when I was a teenager. Which, uh, let me see when this is published, just to make sure I'm not stumbling here. I want to say 79, but I might be off on that. Come on, thumbs work. Well, you son of a... Oh, if you hear anything over that way, my wife's playing uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Turn the volume down. Well, it would be awesome if I could find the copyright page here. Ah, 1979, that's what I thought. Anyway, I considered this a bit racist then. Uh, I guess it would be even more so now. Of course, uh, you know, my values are the same, so. Uh, it's about Lannick Mueller. He's radical regenerative. And basically they marooned a bunch of people on a planet called Treason and there's not many traces of metal. And radical regeneratives, they grow extra heads, arms, legs, different body parts, and they would harvest the organs and sell them, apparently. And uh, so... I 
don't do spoilers, but I will throw this in. Um, there's an attempted assassination. He takes off, and he starts his journey on this planet, and he runs into these different people, with different tribes and whatnot, and they all have their different particular skills. So during the course of this, he learns to manipulate time, <laughs> manipulate DNA. He, he, he learns to talk to rocks and all kinds of crazy stuff. And uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, I actually gave it four stars. Um, said you have to take it for what it's worth. I said it was published in '79, so. For some reason I was thinking Jenna from Bibliofilth, she had a problem with Orson Scott Card. I might be wrong on that. They'd, they'd be going way back to one of her other videos. Maybe she can shed some light on that. Then I read uh, actually a YA, which I don't often do, but my youngest boy had this book. It's The Rag and Bone Shop by Robert Cormier, who I think, I want to say that he wrote... The Chocolate War, yeah. Um, Robert Cormier. I always want to confuse that with Daniel Cormier because I'm a UFC fan. But uh, This has to do with the murder of a young girl and this person's a, you know, a professional as far as interrogations go. And it really gives you some insight as to what they put people through when they try to find out whether they're guilty of something or not, and uh, it's a uh, it's a bit heart wrenching. I mean, uh, I enjoyed it, even though it was a bit painful to read. Uh, um, here's a quote from it: um, "I must lie down where all the ladders start in the foul Reagan bone shop of the heart." It's by Yeats. Gave this four and a half stars. I think this might have been one of Robert Cormier's last books. Now for my January TBR. I have Shiloh by Philip Fracassi. Might be saying that wrong. This is a Civil War era, well actually a Civil War era horror story. Um, let me see how many pages I'm in. Well, I'm 22 pages in. And I saw this on uh, Weird Reads, Jason, and uh, he talked it up pretty good, so I figured I would give it a whirl. I'm liking it so far. Then we have Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert. Everyone knows about this book. Uh, apparently we're doing Dunuary. Um, I think that might be Dane Cobain's brainchild. I was going through YouTube there the other day and I was like, heck, count me in. So, <laughs> I know that's, if we're doing this as Dane, it's uh, Mindy from Mindy's Book Journey and uh, I forget who else, but uh, so we'll see. But then I have The Recruit by Robert Muchimori, Muchimore, and this is uh, about uh, cherub agents who are between 10 and 17, and uh, they go out and gather information on uh, <laughs> terrorists and whatnot. So I won this in Matilda Gothicus contest, and I was supposed to read it last month, but I didn't get to it. But I'm going to this month. So and I have Star Trek Nine uh, by James Blish, and this is. A book that was sent to me by Mark over at Richardson Reads. Um, he sent me several Star Trek books and uh, the Iliad or the Odyssey. Sorry, Mark, it's it's back there. I'm gonna get to that too. But uh, so gonna give this a whirl. I'm a Trekkie. And I have the Snows of Kilimanjaro and other stories by Ernest Hemingway. There's Hemingway on the back. This was published in... Oh, it's got a lot of foot, 
Got a lot of notes in it. <sighs> Copyright Renewal 1961 by Mary Hemingway. So, Snows of Kilimanjaro and other stories. And last but certainly not least is The Traitor of Saigon. Oh, that's raised lettering. By Lucy Cripshanks from Book X. There she is. Cool. And this is part of Todd and Dane's Indie Read Along. Although she's not quite an indie author, she's part of the community. And uh, Dane read it, and now I'm going to read it. So. so, as per usual, if you stuck around this long, kudos. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. I might shoot another video. I won't wait a freaking month this time. Bye.